children which are saw the sixth meal as it, as i already said you it says that for the for each of this given numbers we have to find a whole number which has to be divided by this number so as to make it a perfect square so we shall again find it out by the method of prime factorization so 252 divided by what is the question mark here so since 2 is there i will start with number 2 itself 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 2 six are 1 remainder 2 six are 12 2 six are 12 2 threes are 6 i got 3 i'll go with 3 twos are 6 3 ones are 3 7 are 21 7 ones are 7 so if you observe children we got 252 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7. Illy, 2 is in pair, 3 is in pair, but number 7 is not in pair. Therefore, you will write for one problem, I will write for all the problems you should write. Therefore, 252 has to be divided by 7. To make it a perfect square, to make it a perfect square, you will write one sentence for all the problems children. Next step only, we will divide 252 by 7. This also you can do inside, I have no place I am doing here. 7 in the divide manana. So 2 you cannot sew together, 25 pavotini. 7, 3s are 21, 7, 4s are 28, I cannot go with 4, so 4, so 7, 3s are 21, 25 minus 21 you should do, it is clearly difference is 4, bring down next term, 7, 5s are 35, 7, 6s are 42, always children, the number what you get and when you divide, you will get the difference 0 itself, please keep that in mind. Now, 36 we got. Now, we have to find out the square root of 36. You, you can say, ma'am, we know 36 is, what is a perfect square of 6? So, square root of 36 is clearly 6. I can write directly in that. You can children, of course. But, they expect you to solve like this. So, 3 1s are, 3 2s are, 3 4s are, 2 2s are. 2 1s are 36 is 3 into 3 into 2 into 2. 3 in pair, 2 in pair and root 36 is clearly 3 into 2 which is equal to 6. That's all. So square root 36 is 6. Like this you should solve. Only left in the previous main we used to multiply and then by prime factorization used to find out the square root. But here we are dividing. That is the only difference. Here also you should find out number 2925 has to be divided with what in order to make it a perfect square. Look children, in the unit place we have number 5. When we have number 5, likely you can believe that that number will be divisible completely by 5. So 5, 5 is 25, 29 only, 4 remaining, 42 one though, 5, 8 is 42 remaining, 5, 5 is 25, see, clearly divisible. Now 5, 1 is 5, 8 is there, 5 ones are 5, 3 remaining, 5 sevens are 35, we got 117, it is not possible, 7 and 3 in the time, 3, 3 is 9 and 2 remaining, 3 9 is 27, again 3 ones are 3, 3 is a, we got 13, 13 is prime number, so it is divisible by itself only, 13 ones are 13 is the only positive. So clearly you can see 5 is in pair, 3 is in pair, but the number 13 is not in pair. Therefore, it has to be divided by 13 and 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 13. 5 parallel is there, 3 parallel is there, 13 parallel is So what we will write next step? Therefore, 2925 has to be divided by 13 in order to make it a perfect square. So let us divide. 2925 has to be divided by 13. 29 is there. So 13 twos are 26 if you do. 29 minus 26 is clearly 3 children. Bring down the next number 2. 32 is there which is the nearest multiple of 13 which is 30, uh, equal to nearest to 32. The 13 twos are 26 children but 13 threes are 39 which is more than 32. So again we should go with 13 twos are 26. 
Again, the difference is 6. This is 12 minus 6, 6 to 2 minus 0. Bring down next number 65. Clearly, 13 5 is 65. 60 minus 5 minus 65 is 0. Therefore, we got 225. We all know that 225 is perfect square of 15, isn't it? Directly, we cannot write as I said. Again, we have to go with this prime factorization method and find the square root children. So, 25 and as I said, you unit place 5 and lidra. Don't go with 3 table children, odd number and 5 and start party. 20, there 5 fours are 20, 2 carry 5 fives are 25. 5 nines are 45, 3 threes are 9, 3 ones are 3. So, 225 is write the factors 5 into 5 into 3 into 3, which is in pairs. So, 5 into 3, square root of 225 is equal to 15. So, it is looking like 18. It is 15. Like this you will solve. Next children, third problem, 900 and all right? It is very simple, you can do. Uh, for in the third problem, I will solve. Very simple, I will solve fourth and fifth problems for you. Fourth question is 2, 6, 4, 5. What has to be divided with 2, 6, 4, 5 in order to make it a perfect square? We are checking. So, since 5 is there in the units place, I will start with table 5 itself. 5, 5 is a 25, 1 remaining. 5, 2 is a uh, 10, 4 remaining. 5, 9 is a 45. Look, we got 9 now in the units place. So, I cannot go with 5 table. I should start with 3 table. But only 5 has repeated only one time. It has come one time, Andra. Here only you will get the hint that it has to be divided by 5 and the. But uh, we should show them the steps. So, we should solve now. 3 table start martini. 9 bandhrodrinda. 3 ones are 3 andra. 2 remaining. 3 sevens are 21 children. But 1 remaining. 19 is not divisible by 3. So, I should not. So, 54. Uh, no, no. 2, 6, 4, 5. So, 7 after love. When, what we should do is children. I said you to learn the perfect squares. No? Uh, up, until 30 you should have in your mind I said. If you do so, you will easily get to know that 520, sorry, yes, 529 is 23 into 23. And the, so, we got 2645 is equal to 23 into 23 into 5. If you observe, 23 is in pair, but 5 is individual. So, you will write sentence, therefore, 2645 has to be divided by 5 in order to make it a perfect square. And the, next step, Ali, we shall divide 2645 by 5 children. So, two numbers come under 5, 5 is a 25. 26 minus 25 is 1. Bring down next number 4. Nearest is 5, 2 is 10. 14 minus 10 remainder is 4. Bring down next number 5. 5, 9 is 45. 45 minus 45 and the remainder 0. Therefore, 529 is a perfect square children. But we have to find out the square root of 529. For that, do you think we have to go for again prime factorization method? No need. Why? Just now we find out that 23 into 23 is 529. So directly you can write 23 into 23. 23 ones are 23. So uh, what 529 is 23 into 23 which is in pair. Next step early 529 square root of 529 is 23. That's all children. Next you have 2800. Since 0 is in the units place, we shall start with table 2. 2 1s are 2 4s are 0 0. 2 7s are 0 0. 2 3s are 6, 1 remaining. 2 5s are 10, 0. 2 1s are 2, 1 remaining. 2 7s are 14, 1 remaining. 2 5s are 10. I got 5 and I will start with 5 table only. 5 3s are 15, 2 remaining. 5 5s are 25. 5 7s uh, are 35, 7 ones are 7. Like this we did. 5 table is 7 table. Now if you observe children, we got 2 8 double 0 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 7. So, either pair is there, either pair is there, either pair is there, but 7 is pair in love. 
So uh, 7 has to be divided by 2800 in order to make it a perfect square of the one sentence by it. After that, we shall divide 2800 by 7. So we clearly know that 7 Forza is 28. So 28 minus 28, 0. So two zeros are remaining instead of bringing them down. Since only zeros are there, you can add them directly into the quotient part. So square root of 4, so 400 is a perfect square, we know. What is square root of 400? We should find out. We need not find out. We can directly tell even. Small kids will tell. Kids also can give us answer. 20 square is 400. But we cannot say so children. We have to show the steps of prime factorization. So I am doing it for you. 25. 5 5s are 25. One more step. 5 ones are 5. I didn't explain you directly. I have done. You can go through it. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into, two into 5 into 5. I got 2 parallel, 2 parallel, 5 parallel. So, square root of 400 is 2 into 2 into 5. Square root of 400 is 2, 2 is 4, 4, 5 is 23. Ashte, that's all children. Sixth problem you have, take it as homework. It is very simple, small number. So, I have given you as homework children. This complete sixth main. Next, we have four more mains. They are statement kind of problems children. We solved in one of the lesson, no? Uh, by the given writing the given data, we have to find. There also, we are going to find the values by this prime factorization method only. We shall see how to solve it. So, next we shall move on to 7th main children. The question says, the students of class 8 of a school donated rupees 2401, sorry, yes, 2401 in all for the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. Each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. So, in the class 8, the total number of students, we don't know. How many number of students are there, we don't know. But, each student has donated money for the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. We don't know how much they have contributed. But, they are giving us a hint that each of them have contributed the amount which is equal to the class strength. That is the number of students in the class. And the total amount collected from their class is 2401 rupees. How many number of students are there? We need to find out. Hope you got the question. There are, there in the, in the class 8, the students are, have donated money for the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. We don't know the strength of the class. But they have given us the hint that each student has contributed the money or amount which is equal to the strength of the class. So total amount collected is rupees 2401. How many number of students are there in the class or what is the class strength we need to find out. It is very simple. So we don't know um, how many number of students are there in the class. What we always do in statement kind of problem children. Let the number of students be x let the number of students be x and the top and we also don't know how much each student has donated so let the amount donated by each student B or equal to X again. You may question. In how we used to do previously means we used to take different notations for two statement, statements children. But here for both the statement I am taking let it be X only. The reason is because uh, we are solving or find, we have to find out the square root by find prime factorization. No children. It is a hint that the given number will be the perfect square sir. So, uh, we need square number, no? that is the reason we will take x only notation for both. Now, therefore, the total number of students is equal to x into x that is equal to x square. Now, the total amount given is 
rupees two thousand four hundred and one. It is two thousand four hundred and one. So what we shall do is let we got now x square be equal to two four zero one. So if x square is two thousand four hundred and one, children, what is x? See, this is new concept you are learning here. We got x square is two thousand four hundred and one. What is two thousand four hundred and one? It is the total amount collected from the class. So here. X square in the I want to remove this square. I said you in the previous session, but I am repeating it. From X square, the square na now remove my beko. Square remove my beko. Dra simply I will erase it ma'am. It's vanished. No, you cannot do so. What you should do is whenever you are removing the square from LHS children, whatever is there in the RHS for that number or equation or whatever it is, the square root has to be given. Like this, I am on LHS now. I have some load on my head. I want to keep it down. I don't want to carry the load. What I do is, I simply want to keep it down. Instead, I give to the person who is beside me. So I am not. I am no more having the load on my head. Instead, the person behind me is having the load. So the load is cut in the number x square. And I do this square root is the load given. इन स्क्वायर में बोलते हैं स्क्वायर बोल बार दो स्क्वायर तक दर स्क्वायर रूट कर में को ओके ना सो एक्स स्क्वायर इस टू फोर जीरो वन अंदर है व्हाट इज एक्स अंदर है इट इस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू जीरो फोर वन चिल्ड्रन नेक्स्ट व्हाट यू सो वी शुड फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट बाय प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन uh, if you check children, if you blindly take three, three eights are twenty four. Okay, fine. But zero and one are there. Are they divisible by three? No, cannot. So what I do is five. I cannot. Next I will go with number seven. Seven three is a twenty one number. Three remaining. Seven four is a twenty eight. Thirteen only. Two remaining. So seven three is a twenty one. Ah, by God, dear. Next three forty three number. Again I will try with table seven. Seven. फाइव जो थर्टी फाइव हो गोते, सो सेवेन फोर जो ट्वेंटी एट वी शुड टेक अप। नाउ बहुत चीज़ रिमेनिंग, सिक्स इज़ रिमेनिंग, करेक्ट आ, थर्टी फोर अली, सो सेवेन नाइन जो सिक्सटी थ्री, फोर्टी नाइन इज़ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर ऑफ़ सेवेन, सो सेवेन सेवेन जो फोर्टी नाइन, सेवेन वन जो सेवेन चीज़ है। नाउ वन टू थ्री � Two four zero one is seven four times. So if you pair these two, these two, square root of two four zero one is seven into seven. Directly I will write forty nine children. Therefore, you will write one sentence. There are forty nine students in the class. Forty nine students in the class are there. How did we find out? By prime factorization method, we find it out the square root of that number. Very simple. Next, I will solve the eighth main. Question is: Two zero two five plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. So total of two thousand twenty five plants has to be planted. That not however you want, but in rows it seems. So and each row should contain as many plants as the number of rows. Andra, either rows only you have to plant the plant. Yes, the rows is your suppose say four rows you are planting the plants. Andra four plants is by one row only. That way you plant. This is an example like that. Calculate for 2025 plants. If you are planting 2025 saplings, how many rows you should plant? In how many rows you should plant them such that each row contains equal number of plants? And that. If one row is five, but next row is four, more than that. Five into seven, more five, 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 five. Like that, how many rows? Or six, more than that. Six, 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 six. Eight rows. And that we are. They are asking us to find out. Hope the question is clear to you. Garden or other, each row contains. Let the number of rows be x. 
here we always want x square term children. Such a way we will be writing our statement. So let the number of rows be x and the number of plants number of plants in each row also be equal to x. Number of plants in each row is also equal to x. Adu x, idu x. Therefore, the total number of rows is equal to x square. And what is the value of this x square given under 2025? I thought you here no children. What is x under square root of 2025? Here we have to find out what is square root of 2025 for which again we will be going with the help of prime factorization method. Since 5 is there in the units place children as I always tell you I start with table 5. 20 the 5 4s are 20. You need 25 together I should take means 0 I should add. 5 5s are 25. Again 5 is there under 5 8s are 40. 5 1s are 5. 81 is perfect square of 9. 9 into 9 you can write. Or go with 3 table. 3 2s are 7s are. 3 9s are. 3 3s are. 3 1s are. So 5. What is the fact? What are the factors now? 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. You write in single line. For me no place. I am writing in next line. So 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. All are in pairs. We will write it once. So square root of 2025 is equal to 5 into 3 into 3. 5 3 is 15. 15 3 is 45. So what is square root of 2025 and is 45 children. Therefore, you will write one sentence. Therefore, 45 rows of plants has to be planted and each row will contain 45 number of plants. And you should write. I have, for me, no place. I am not writing children. I want you to write. What will be the last sentence? Therefore, 45 rows of plants are planted and each row contains 45 plants in it and the one final statement that is about the eighth problem next uh, last two problem of this exercise we are left with ninth and tenth we shall solve now